What's up, friends? It's Mitty Man again, coming at you from Walker's Music. We yet another word for the day. We give God the honor. We give God the praise. We give Him all the glory. We thank Him for life, health, and strength. We thank Him for as well as it is, people. It might not be all we want, but we have all we got. And as a matter of fact, we got all we need. Thanks be to God. A lot of a lot of things going on, people, in our world and in our land in our society, in our community. The world is in unrest right now. Uh, everything is sort of out of pocket. People are confused. People are losing heart, faith. So much going on. And we're not going to judge anybody. We just, we just ask some people that, that we need to learn life up, uh, in these times on our Heavenly Father. It's easy to lose faith with so much going on excuse me I mean, this morning top of the morning people it's sunday morning it's time to go out to the house of prayer go out to the house of prayer one more time and we give god honor we thank you for the youtube fam from baby justice all the way up to big papa jt well it's mama jt y'all already know the routine uh we give y'all honor this morning and we thank god for you we thank god for each and every one of the youtube family Everybody that makes up a part of this here family circle of cyber friends on the net. We thank God for each and every one of you. And uh, we're going to, like I said, we got to go out of here this morning. And uh, we got a we got a long day today. We got a long day. We got a after morning service. My church, we venture off out of town. We got to go to another uh, dear friend church or pastor. He's his church in around in the Columbus, Georgia area. So we got a pretty good outing today. And so it's going to be probably late when I get back home this evening. So like I said, that's going to be a long day and I'm not going to, not going to, I'm just going to take it as it comes. I want to read something people uh, this morning. And uh, it is my hope. This it, I got up with this on my mind. And uh, I believe it or not, I started to do the, the word of the day before I done anything else. But I'm just so used to getting myself together. And, uh, but this came to me, and I think it'll be very, very, you know, we must obey the Spirit of God. And people, we've been so used to doing things our own way for so long. And, and when, when, uh, it's obeying the Spirit of God. Is a, a is a is a, something like I say to some of us that's a new that's a new thing because we've been unused to doing things our own way and uh, and everything. But uh, thanks be to God, give us the victory through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But uh, this came up to me. Uh, this morning, and uh, I want. Read starting from the book of Ephesians, um, the sixth chapter, and uh, let's start reading at that very first verse. It said, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Uh, we see a lot of that going on now disobedient to parents. Uh, it's honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise. That it may dwell, that it may be well with thee all, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Servants, are, obey your, be obedient to them that are your masters, according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of heart, as unto Christ. Not with our service, as member, men pleasers but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good with good will doing service, acts as to the Lord and not to men, to men. Knowing whatsoever good thing that, that any man does, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether it be, be bond or free. In other words, it don't make no difference whether you be slave or free. And ye masters do the same things unto them, forbearing, threatening, knowing that your masters also in is in heaven, neither is there a respect of person with him. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. 
Put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devils. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers, against the rules of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with the truth, and having on the blessed praise of righteousness, and in your feet shod with the God preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all of the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all per perseverance and supplication for all saints, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, and that may I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that wherein I may speak boldly, as you ought to speak. But that ye also may know my affairs and how I do. Tychicus, a beloved brother and faithful minister of the Lord, we shall make known you all things whom I have sent unto you from the same purpose, that ye might know our affairs, and that ye, he might comfort your heart. Peace be unto the brethren, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. The God that a blessing. I read you the entire chapter 6 of the book of Ephesians. God that a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. People. I need not even explain to you what that was saying. That was self-explanatory. Telling you about the children, obey your parents, first commandment with promise, that it what may go well with thee, and that you may live long. That's the promise, people, of that. If you want to live long and you want it to go well with you, treat your parents right. That's all you got to do. And then it will tell you about I serve. You know, a lot of people do things just to be seen of men. Oh, Lord, we got so many people that fall up under that category. We do things, people. Just to be seen a man, like today, I got to go out and mind you, I know that a lot of things that are going to be done today going to be done because of the, the, the outside show to the world and to men, to, men, to please men, especially when you go out somewhere new. Everybody have a tendency to want to show off a little bit. But what, what Paul was telling if, if and, and it wrote down at the church of Ephesus there, that was the book of Ephesians, he was letting them know, don't do things as pleasing or to man pleasing, but do things whether, who are, what, in other words, stay in your lane. Whatever your capacity is, whatever your job is to do, and we're going to keep it in the church. If, if you are the minister of music, stay in the minister of music, play. Don't try to, don't try to pastor. You're not the pastor. Don't get, don't get in the pastor. You can, you can, don't, don't, don't tell the pastor what to do. You're a minister of music. Stay in your lane. If you're a Sunday school teacher, stay in your lane. If you're an usher, stay in your lane. If you're working in the kitchen committee, Stay in your lane. Do your job and do it as unto the Lord. Now, people may not. People, nine times out of ten, people are rarely going to appreciate stuff. You got very, very few people that appreciate and will show honor and give honor to whom honor is due. And I'm trying to rush on with this thing, people, because I don't mean to make these videos you know, 20 or 15 minutes long. But if sometimes you take that, I, I imagine sometimes you take that. But I try to keep them at a minimum. And in the last few minutes, I'm just saying, that's what that's what Paul was saying there. He said, Tychicus, he said, I sent him to the same purpose to let them know what bonds he was in. In other words, the suffering and the trial that Paul was going through, he wanted the church to know. And he wanted them to know that he, he, don't be feeling sorry for him, as it's something strange. In this life, we will have trials and tribulations. Jesus told us that, people. But he said, be of good cheer. For I have overcome the world. And if I overcome, if I overcame, so you will. So you will you. So, it's, it gets hard, people. I know it. And these times we're living in. Look at the fools that, that, that attacked Israel. All of that. I mean, you got so much going on. And now, I mean, now, you know they crazy for attacking Israel. But, but nevertheless, God got that, people. God got his eyes, and his eyes is on the sparrow. And I know if he, he watches over me and you. So what we need to do in these last days, people, and I'm going to say this in these last few seconds here. Yes, people, things don't look good. Yes, people, things are turning in on every hand. You're running into something on every hand. 
But it's one thing I know for certain. All we need to do is be still. Be still. God will fight our battle. Because of, like the scripture said, the battle is not ours, but it's the Lord. So let us keep our hand in his hand. And even though it seems hard, people, and it seems like on every hand, it's they're taking all we got to stand. But look what it just told us there. When you do all you can do to stand, what did the scripture just tell you? It's a stand, in it? Stand on the word of God. This is Midi Man saying peace. Goodbye.